Thank you for joining us here at Renegy again today. Today we're going to show you how to install our 100 watt complete kit. In your complete kit you should have received one solar panel, a 10 foot adapter kit, one 10 amp charge controller, a set of Z brackets for mounting. Not included in the kit would be a 12 volt battery and a tray cable. The tray cable we do have for, it for sale on our website. The first thing we're going to be working with right now on our kit is the charge controller. We're going to take the tray cable and we're going to attach it to the charge controller on the battery terminal. The red wire goes into the positive and the green wire goes into the negative. Then we screw them down. Now that we have our tray cable attached to our charge controller, we're going to take the other end of our tray cable and maintaining polarity, we're going to connect it to our battery. The red wire goes on positive, and the green wire goes on negative. Immediately after this step, if you look at your charge controller, you should notice that the battery light is lit, is lit up. This means you have power now coming to your charge controller. Next we're going to be installing our 10 foot adapter kit to the wire leads on the back of the panel. We need to make sure that we maintain polarity, so we're going to take the mail connector and insert it into the female connector and we're going to take our female connector and insert it into the male connector. Now we have our 10 foot adapter kit connected to the back of our panel. We are now ready to take the end of our 10 foot adapter kit and we're going to attach it and install it into our 10 amp charge controller. At the end of our 10 foot adapter kit, you want to make sure that the wires are stripped just like this. I've pre-stripped my wires longer than they need to be. Ideally, you want to cut them to 3 8 of an inch, so your bare wire exposed will be a little bit shorter than this. We're going to take our negative lead and we're going to plug it into the charge controller. And we screw this down. Take our positive lead and we insert it. We have now successfully attached our panels to the charge controller and our battery to the charge controller. There's only one step in the process left and that will be to attach a small load to the charge controller. Currently, your 10 amp charge controller is turned off. We need to turn it on by pressing the button. You should see some numbers appear. You don't need to worry about what number is displayed currently. We set it down and we have our panel hooked up and we have our battery hooked up. Now we can attach a small load to the charge controller. You'll notice the inserts down here is where you normally want to attach things. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you how you can test it to make sure it's working. Here we have a small 12 volt LED light. And we're just going to take the wires and touch them to the light bulb. 